While power is a goal for most villains, it's not always about brute force. Sometimes they can be absolutely cunning, outwitting the heroes, while at others, they're content to mess with their minds. It didn't always yield the greatest success, but mind games can be enough to take down the bravest. Here are 11 villains that played mind games with the player, whether in a single game or throughout their series. Spoilers follow, so be warned. Ocelot, Metal Gear Solid series. Going through everything that Ocelot does in the series may take a while. However, from Metal Gear Solid 1, it's obvious that the Man of Revolvers was playing a longer game, working for Solidus to steal Metal Gear specs. Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty saw him possessed by the arm of Liquid Snake, later revealed to be a sham to lower the guard of the Patriots, who seemingly ran the world. In Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots, Ocelot controlled the five biggest PMCs in the world, took over the Patriots' SOP system, and came close to ultimately destroying their AI if not for the efforts of Solid Snake and Otacon. still have a score to settle. Scarecrow, Batman Arkham Asylum. <laughs> the very definition of mind games, as Jonathan Crane, aka Scarecrow, used fear toxin to create elaborate hallucinations to combat the Dark Knight in Arkham Asylum. He even had a giant scarecrow in an otherworldly setting to prevent Batman from overcoming the illusion. It got even crazier when the game's initial events occurred again, but this time with Batman in Joker's place, revealed to be another illusion. After Batman breaks free again, Crane is taken out by Killer Croc and resurfaces in Arkham Knight, where he enacts a plan to break the hero. How are you doing this? <laughs> You've ingested enough toxins to drive dead men insane! Albert Wesker, Resident Evil 1 Remake Wesker's manipulation is witnessed firsthand in the first Resident Evil. He was revealed to be working with Umbrella Corporation, even while seemingly guiding and helping stars, and responsible for preventing Bravo Team's escape, prompting Alpha Team with Chris, Jill, and Barry to get involved. Wesker also enlisted Barry's help to destroy evidence, threatening his family in the process, and would unleash the tyrant to hunt down Alpha Team. Hilariously, despite going so far for Umbrella, it's revealed that Wesker betrayed them as well to work for a rival company. Voss, Far Cry 3 You have to feel bad for Jason Brody in Far Cry 3. Even after surviving an encounter with Voss, he's left emotionally scarred from the death of his brother Grant. While Jason pursues him at every turn and also attempts to rescue his friends, Voss is seemingly one step ahead every time, leaving Jason to die in a burning building, drowning him, and even outright shooting him. When it seems like Jason has the upper hand when infiltrating Voss's compound to kill him, the latter broadcasts his plans to everyone. The two fight, and while Voss appears to die, he seemingly survives, as seen in the Far Cry 6 DLC Insanity. The Elusive Man, Mass Effect 2 and 3 while the elusive man wouldn't be properly introduced until Mass Effect 2, he's working behind the scenes throughout the series to get what he wants. He founded Cerberus to put humanity first over the alien races. Brainwashing, human experimentation, blackmail, corruption, genocide. The elusive man engaged in all of this and more. Even his plan to revive Shepard in Mass Effect 2 and fight the Collectors has an ulterior motive, as he seeks to seize their technology. In Mass Effect 3, he becomes obsessed with controlling the Reapers, even in planning himself with their technology. That he can simultaneously execute so many complex schemes and fight Shepard on so many fronts is a testament to his drive and will. Shodan, System Shock as the artificial intelligence of Citadel Station, Shodan would go rogue after the hacker, well, hacked to gain amnesty from Tri-Optimum's VP Edward Diego. Not only did she effectively gain sentience, but also gained control of the station and killed everyone on board. Well, almost everyone. Some were turned into cyborgs or became mutants to serve her purpose of opposing the hacker. Throughout all of this, she's constantly mocking the hacker when she's not threatening him with violent ends. She's viewed as the biggest threat facing the Earth before the first game ends, before returning in the sequel with a vengeance. Third Child, Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain the third child first appears in Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain with a bang, controlling the man on fire and summoning a giant flaming blue whale. He later controls Metal Gear Solanthropus, wreaking havoc before Venom Snake could fight back with a mounted turret. He's also used to prevent the player from doing anything sneaky, like destroying the helicopter that Skullface emerges from in Mission 30. While not explicitly confirmed whether the third child is Psychomantis, there have been too many hints throughout the series not to suggest otherwise. 
GLaDOS Portal One of the most unforgettable villains in gaming, GLaDOS was terrifying due to seeing humans, and as we find out later, robots, as little more than test subjects. Live or die, all of that is secondary to the testing. In the first portal, she starts with relatively safe tests to introduce you to the game's various mechanics before turning the hazards up. You eventually learn that she may have killed all the researchers in Aperture Labs by releasing toxic gas. Of course, her comments remain spicy throughout, as she mocks protagonist Chell's life, parents, general skills, and more. Insults like smelly garbage standing around useless, a bitter, unlikable loner whose passing will not be mourned, and horrible person may sound biting on their own. However, GLaDOS's phrasing and Ellen McLean's incredible voice work ensures they're delivered with the right amount of panache. Lisa, PT Lisa's existence in PT, the teaser to the cancelled Silent Hills, is pitiful. She was previously expecting, but one day her husband, claiming there was a monster inside of him, stabbed her. The result is that Lisa's ghost haunts the halls of the teaser, sometimes appearing in a doorframe before disappearing. If possessed by her, players will hear a third footstep while walking in her ragged breathing. Turning around at this stage isn't advised, since she'll kill them. Regardless of whether you're possessed or not, seeing her watching through the windows outside, the balcony upstairs, and the bathroom before moving away is terrifying. Scott Shelby, Heavy Rain Shelby seems unassuming, a private investigator working to find the origami killer. However, he's revealed to be the killer, manipulating the likes of Lauren, his partner, Ethan Mars, and families that have suffered due to his murders. It's somewhat out of left field, especially since you play as him at various points, but Shelby's motive is to ultimately test Ethan and find someone capable of saving their son, which his father failed to do when his brother John drowned in his childhood. So what are your thoughts on this? Go ahead and share them in the comments below. And if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon to get new video updates. We upload every day and would really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching.